Hey guys, Redstone Without Limits here again. We're gonna do a video on instruction sets. We're gonna make um, a relatively simple instruction set. Um, just to let you know, we're gonna have one extra register for uh, basically just storing numbers temporarily instead of having like a, um, a cache or anything like that. So let's get started. So for these first numbers, we want to be able to um, know which layer we're on, or which um, instruction we're on for this instruction set. So we're going to just, um, let me get a sign. Okay, so um, first zero. That's our um, it's our first instruction, which is gonna be null. So uh, it will just do nothing, basically. So we're gonna call this null. So that's um, no op, no op code. And uh, these are called op codes, by the way. I just uh, gotta mention that. So now we have zero 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 one. And this one's going to load the um, value in the immediate. So load in the so uh, the immediate bus is a bus on the program memory where you load in like the main value that you want to put in. So for instance, you'd have your instruction, your um, instruction on one one side. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna show you. So let's say this is your instruction, and that's coming through, and it's just gonna be like, okay, well we want to load the value that is on this bus into the accumulator. So the immediate is used for a, a lot of things. So, I won't go into too much detail until we actually get to more instructions. Okay, so, um... Oh, wait. Load value in the... To the accumulator. So that's just going to take uh, the value that's coming into the accumulator and then it's going to load it into it. So it's basically going to clock this. So I hope that makes sense. Now we're going to have another instruction. This is going to be 2. Okay, and then um, this is going to load into the adder. So it's going to load from accumulator to adder, and then you're going to have a parameter in the uh, immediate. So we're going to say a, no, a slash b. So you can choose either one of those, and that would just be a boolean. So in the immediate, it would look like this. So you'd have your main bus. Uh, your instruction bus, you'd have a uh, one zero on there, and then you'd have your immediate, which would be over here, and then you just say one or zero for A or B. So that makes sense. There we go. Okay, so now let's do three. Now, uh, we want to have one to load the value from the adder, so there would be a register on here, into the accumulator. So we want to be able to do that. Uh, let's do load value from ALU to accumulator. So that's how that works. 
So now we're gonna have a four. And we're gonna do load value from or load value from accumulator to register. And then you're gonna have uh, the register address. So like that. That's gonna be in your immediate bus. Okay, and then um, let's see what else we need. We need to be able to load that value from the register into the accumulator. So five. So we need a load from reg to accumulator. Um, and then we want to be able to perform our operations on the numbers. So we need to have a six. And we're going to say this is going to be our add right there. And then it's going to store it into the um, output register. And then we need subtract. We're probably not going to have multiply because we could program that in. Um, we want to be able to have XOR. And let's have and and or you know we'll have that. So we'll have and and we'll have or. Okay, and then um we need one more thing. Uh, we need a jump to line. So we're going to have uh, which number was that? Oh, no. No. There we go. Okay, so we need to have jump and then in the immediate, you would have your number or your line number that you want to jump to. So we'll have line number. Like that. Okay. Um, and then we also want to have a branch if a register is equal to the accumulator. So we want to be able to con well let us branch if the value in the accumulator is equal to the value in the immediate. Yeah, we'll do that. Branch if val in uh, accumulator equal to to um, immediate so you put your value in here oh I have to move this over a little bit move And this one is going to be one one zero zero. So that is it for this instruction set. Um, I might do stuff like just get this over here. If you have any suggestions, um, go ahead and put those in the comments, and I will be sure to look at those. So. I'll see you in the next video. If you like this video, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more, I make videos every day, so go ahead and subscribe.
and I will see you later.